more and more of you are asking for homemade bread recipes. So today, I'm gonna to share with you a recipe from my website last year, it's for catcher bread. <laughs> In this video, we're going to make our very own homemade Mediterranean focaccia bread. Okay, so we're gonna need some strong bread flour, some dried yeast, some sugar, and then we're gonna flavor it with rosemary, garlic, and plenty of olive oil. Lovely. Okay, so really simple bread making, but it does need time. However, to start off with, we're going to use our dried yeast. Now this has come straight out of a sachet, so it's a fast active dried yeast. Okay. All we need to do is a little bit of water, and if you can just stir that in, just to start to dissolve it. Yep. It's warm water, you don't want it hot, um, but just sort of out the tap, warm water, body temperature is good. And this brings it to life, does it, it? Yeah, it kind of rehydrates it and activates it again. In the meantime, we can talk about our flour. Now, this is 500 grams of strong bread flour. So what's with the different types of flour? The flour varies depending on its gluten content. So gluten is the protein in the flour, okay. and a strong flour, which we need for bread making, has more of it. So a higher percentage of protein and gluten in there. Scientific, isn't it? Less than if you're making something like a cake, which yep. is all-purpose flour, plain flour. Okay. okay, so we need the strong bread flour, and that's gonna go into our machine. Now you can, of course, do this by hand, just in a bowl, but when you've got a machine, out of that. We're also going to add in a little bit of olive oil, so maybe two tablespoons. We also need a little bit of sugar because the yeast needs the sugar to help activate it as well and give it the food that it needs. Okay, okay yeast needs four things. Water, food, we're going to give it a little bit of sugar, although there's lots of natural sugar in the flour. Yep. Warmth, we'll give that just at room temperature. We're giving it the warm water. Yep. Plus time, okay, and time comes later on. But a little bit of sugar first, that's going in there, so a couple of teaspoons of that. Mm-hmm and then salt in there as well. And then you can put all of your yeasty goodness in there. Okay. I can't decide what this smells like. It either smells like bread or beer. Well, brewery. It smells like an old brewery or a dirty old musty carpet in a pub. Yeah. Because it's, it's that kind of beer, it's the same process, the fermenting process is used in making alcohol. But it's very important in this process and it's all gonna go in there. And that's it. All you need to do now is mix it all together and add just enough warm water until it comes together into a soft, Dough, okay, so we're going to knead it in the machine. Of course, you can do it by hand. And what you're left with is a very soft, elastic -y dough. We put our dough hook down, turn it on, and add in the water a little bit at a time. We won't necessarily need all of it, but just until it comes into a soft, elastic -y dough. Right. Just a little bit of that. That should just about bring it together. And then we can leave it to knead for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, what we have is a fantastically soft, Elastic dough. Wow. Which we'll just peel off of our dough hook. That looks nothing like the flour and water that went in there. No, but a really soft elastic dough. Now, do you want to do some rosemary and garlic? That's yep. going to go on top of our bread. You see how soft this dough is now? If you haven't got a machine, you can just knead it very gently with your palms, your hands. And that will do exactly the same job for 10 minutes. Okay. It's quite a therapeutic workout, really. But at that point, the only thing that's left is to give the yeast time to do its job. So put it into one dough shaped ball, into a bowl cover it with cling film and then either let it prove, and that's the resting process, for a couple of hours at room temperature or even overnight in the fridge, mm. and what you end up with is something that looks like that. Well, no, 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 no. That's exactly not the, the same, but loads more air, and that's what wow. makes our bread light and fluffy and spongy, okay? So that's what we're left with. Now at this stage, what you will end up doing is knocking some of the air back, but you want to keep as much in there as possible. And I'm gonna lay it out onto our baking tray and then just roll it out into a circular kind of bread shape often what you associate with focaccia. Now what's stereotypical with focaccia is to put some holes in it. It's just your fingers, just kind of poke down and put these holes in it. Fantastic for absorbing all the flavor we're going to put into it. Lots of olive oil over the top. Some sea salt, okay, so we've just got some sea salt. You can just use regular salt if you've got it, but sea salt gives a fantastic crunchy, mm. salty crust. We've got the rosemary, which Jamie's chopped up there. That's gonna go on top. A Little bit of black pepper. Let's bring our garlic on top, and that's pretty much good to go. All we need to do now is let it rest and brew for another half an hour. So we've just rolled it out and poked it lots. So we want to give it another half an hour to rest at room temperature, and then into a hot oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes, and it will rise up, it will go lovely and golden. We can let it cool and then tuck it. Our bread has come out of the oven. It's had a little bit of time to cool down. You know when it's cooked, yep. it sounds hollow from underneath. So if you give it a tap, a nice hollow sound, that means it's got nice airy bubbles inside. Ooh. And then we can start to slice it up. In the meantime, do you want to mix some of our olive oil yeah. and balsamic vinegar yeah. together as a nice dipping sauce? And I'll just cut into this. If you don't eat it all at once, you can of course freeze it and it'll stay fresh in the freezer for a while. And then we can start to plate up. We've got our chilli oil as well. Oh yeah. But there we go, our very own homemade focaccia bread with infused oils, 
sorted. So, homemade bread, Tim, what do yeah. you think? It's nice and soft, isn't it? Really like it. Without the oil first. Mm. Fresh bread, just baked, still warm. It's incredible. Especially with that salty kind of rosemary garlic and crust. The crust is lovely. Try some of this chilli one as well. It's not as hot as you might think. It's, it's not gonna, that hot. It's going to burn my it's, mouth. No, it's peppery, but it's not hot. Oh, wow. Very nice. So how did you do that? Just olive oil, a few chilies, and about a month. That's it.